Hi guys, Micro here. This is the second installment of my speed kill series and in this episode I get an 18 second to hell we kill and a 20 second vindicta. I'm going to be trying to beat my personal best at loads of different bosses and talk through how I done that. These aren't world records or anywhere close. I think the world record for vindicta is like 11 seconds. But it's all about getting my own personal achievements and my personal achievement was 20 seconds at these bosses and I managed to get that and Vindicta and beat that at hell with. So let's get right into this video. In this video I'll be speaking about things like target cycling and if you don't know what something like target cycling is I'm not going to go into it in every single episode but I'll leave a link in the description to my zero second Grador kill where I go into target cycling and ability queuing and such. So you can check out that video if you don't know what those type of things are because I'm not going to explain them every single episode of this series because I've already explained them in the first. With that being said, let's get into the setup and how I done it. My setup for Hellwear is on the screen. As you can see, obviously I'm using high tier gear. The higher tier your gear is, obviously the easier it is to get speed kills. So I'm going to use everything I can to get the fastest kills possible. That includes my tier 92 Kopeshes, my tier 92 Trim Masterwork, Cinder Banes with Weapon Poison plus plus plus, Warm Incense Sticks to then improve the Weapon Poison, my good old trusty Grimoire to make me crit more often and hit up to 15k's in my Zerk which is huge for damage, a Ripper Demon with Death from Above Scrolls, Vuln Bombs, even stuff like Vengeance and Disruption Shield are useful because you're on low HP with the Darok Relic. So Disruption Shield allows you to, you know, take a hit for free. Then I use uh, Supreme Overloads. I use a Adrenaline Renewal Potion, which gives you 40% Adrenaline over 6 seconds, which is the most Adrenaline you can get in one pot, which really helps you be able to cast all your thresholds. And then obviously other important things are needed here like Mutated Barge and Mutated Fury as those abilities can help a ton. And also inside my Essence of Finality I have Dragon Claws. I finish off my Zerk rotation with Dragon Claws so it's really useful to have that in there. Especially if you're going for like a 20 second kill. Now I've spoken about the setup it's time to get into the actual kill. But if you do have any other questions about my setup that I didn't fully cover then feel free to ask me any questions you have in the comments down below. The only thing is with speed kills you're not going to consistently get these type of times right. You can get close to them but it all depends on your crits. Once you get the rotation down it's then just making sure that you crit hard enough and then you'll get your fast kills. Sometimes you can literally just not crit at all and hit really low and just get a slow kill just because of RNG. So if you are looking to do some speed kills or improve your kill times at bosses don't feel disheartened if you do your rotation perfectly and get a slower kill because sometimes it does rely on you actually making sure you get those crits and Grimoire helps but doesn't guarantee them right. The amount of times I got kills at like 22, 23, 24 seconds is absolutely insane. It took me quite a while to get the 18 second at Hellwit and the 20 second at Vindicta. Setting up the kill for Hellwit and Vindicta is the same. What you want to do is lower your HP a little bit. I typically just use Onslaught on a dummy at the PVM hub or sign to get lower HP. That then allows your Dark Relic to make you hit harder. Then I get 100% Adrenaline on the Adrenaline Crystal. Go over to one of the dummies inside the PVM hub. If you right click you can toggle it so it's a max hit mode which means you always crit on it. Which will allow you to do a Mutated Fury. This will give you a guaranteed crit for 30 seconds. I then run away from the dummy with this 30 second crit buff. I use my dragon battle axe spec to increase my strength which will make me hit harder. I then get 100% adrenaline on the crystal again and go through the hellware portal. I then quickly right click rejoin my last instance and go through. At this point you want to run towards the middle. Use a Voln bomb just before hellware spawns and you want to zerk with that Voln bomb. And as soon as you see your kill timer you can target cycle and mutated barge. Then you can start your rotation instantly as he spawns. 
And remember, you're always going to crit with your mutated bulge because of that 30 second buff we got on the dummy, which means, as you can see there, I hit 13k with my mutated bulge off the bat. After my mutated bulge, I activate my adrenaline renewal potion, so I'm getting adrenaline while fighting, which is going to allow me to use all the thresholds I need. I then follow it up with a decimate, which then allows me to bleed my assault. That's why mutated barge is so important. You essentially don't have to channel one of your channeled abilities and you get all the damage from it. After bleeding my assault, I use the limitless ability, which allows me to cast my thresholds under 50% adren, which I follow up with a couple of ticks of mutated flurry into a destroy. After I finish my destroy, I need a little bit more adren to be able to cast my dragon claws. So I use another decimate and sever, which then allows me to Dragon Claws to finish the kill off in the last of my Zerk. And I even got a Relentless proc this time on the Dragon Claws, which allowed me to back-to-back -back Dragon Claws, which got the last 13k with the second Dragon Claws, and I got that 18 second kill. Obviously, if Relentless didn't proc, I could have then just used a Decimate or something. And if it crit, it could have finished them off as well. But the Dragon Claws was just safer because I had the Adren to use. But as you can see watching that kill back, I get a ton of crits which really help me. The amount of times I'd done this exact rotation and didn't get an 18 second kill just because I didn't crit was pretty huge. So just persevere with it. If you are trying to get speed kills, you will get those crits eventually and you'll get those kills down. Now, when it comes to Vindicta, my setup is very similar, but Vindicta cannot be poisoned. So because Vindicta cannot be poisoned, I do not have Cinderbanes and Weapon Poison and Quam Incense Sticks. I'm just using a Death Touch Bracelet. Everything else is the exact same. The rotation for Vindicta is the same as Hellwear, although there is one difference, and that's when it spawns. Hellwear spawns instantly. Vindicta flies over and jumps down. This means that you can't actually attack Vindicta for two seconds of the instance. This means instead of Vuln bombing as it spawns and instantly barging it, you have to wait until the kill timer spawns, then you Vuln bomb and Zerk, into a target cycle barge at two seconds. So you're pretty much starting your kill two seconds later than Hellwear, which means it makes sense that I have an 18 second Hellwear, but a 20 second Vindicta, because you can attack Hellwear two seconds earlier. Then the rest of the kill works out the same. You use your Adrenaline Renewal Potion, a uh, basic threshold into Bleeding, Assault or Destroy, using your Limitless so you can cast your thresholds under 50% for your Mutated Flurry and whatever threshold you don't bleed, then leading up to getting a tiny bit more Adren with a basic or two into Dragon Claws to finish it off at the last of your Zerk. This got me a 20 second Vindicta, this also took a while, and I got so many kills that were like 23 seconds and stuff, it's crazy. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know what other bosses you would like to see me try and speed kill in the comments down below. I know another one that I'm planning on doing is QBD because that had quite a lot of requests as well. But I'm down to try and beat my PBs at any boss because it's fun to do. Obviously doing these kills is expensive and you probably break even or potentially even lose money when doing these kills but it's fun and it's just something that I want to do to get faster kill times across the board. And as always, until next time, see ya.